Before 101? 100. How we keep 100. it? How we keep it? We keep them all the 100. From Shrimps to Scam Room, Matthew and Harem. We motherfucking made it, made it to this uh, mile marker. Episode 100. Triple digits. Damn. Get a life. <laughs> it's about time. Goddamn. Son bitch. I tell you what, can you turn my mic up a little bit, sir? I tell you what, it's in the bombs there, Sonny. This is From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. The show neither about shrooms nor about Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. We got the motherfucking... Toothbrush Assassin, Little Feet, Dirty Sack, Carlos Morales, a.k.a. <laughs> Don't Rain knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. The only person capable of filling the Hiram size hole in my heart and on the couch. <laughs> and we got one of the motherfucking originators, the number one stomach problem having with the leaky booty, the bubbling from Dublin, Sean. The only one that can fill Hiram in the pants. The oh. short lord. Okay. Gang gang. And I'm your host, the motherfucking Bake Man, Cake Man, the Ball Bambino, Matthew. And this episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, home of the motherfucking Fish Taco, Taco Tuesdays, Whiskey Wednesdays, Trivia Night Thursday, Karaoke Fridays, wow. and by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, Mommy Florida, 33133. They'll been. <laughs> Yeah, I was just. I Throw was just your, you were there. <laughs> Throw your set up. That was so close. <laughs> Triple threes. It's because I started thinking. I was like, man, I'm nailing it. And then uh, I immediately forgot what I was saying. Yeah. The last carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue. They're open Monday through Saturday, 1030 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sundays from 11 a.m. to 430 p.m. Family owned. Fresh, wholesome eats since 1975. The last carrot. I was just over there the other day. Uh, Aaron, the owner. Really good people. Yo, fellas. A lot of podcasts don't make it here, big or small. One hundred episodes. I well for one concurrent. For, for, no breaks. Yeah, no breaks. No stopping. I mean, I took a break, but I'm back. You want to know something? When, <laughs> when, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I uh, can't take the credit, but I'll be here for it. I I actually did the numbers, uh, back around episode ninety. I was I was racking up um the, the I was tallying up the guest appearances and um the week before you came with Sebastian you were supposed to come right uh, Oh I came <laughs> uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be the show without that And um <laughs> at that time you and Carlos you on the front end and Carlos on the back end Oh, of what exactly? <laughs> we, were, we were dancing, dancing in the moonlight. Everybody, <clears throat> fourteen episodes. You guys have fourteen episodes apiece. Okay, Sean on the front end, Carlos on the back end. But then you didn't come because you came the next week. So he, when you came here, he was at fifteen. You gotta stop saying come and came. It's just <laughs> making me. <laughs> What are are you getting an erection? Just a little bit. Are you, is it turning you on? Chubs and stubs, chubs and stubs. All right, so, so basically, he has more fucking episodes than me. Good yeah. job, guy. Cool. Am I the most? Am I the the most? Cool, cool for you, bro. Well, well, Hiram's at like seven. Like he's 
No. Like but after, besides I, you, like after his, you guys I, are in the the name. Yeah, so how, how was it like 80? Uh-huh. 79 maybe. And you're at, you're like you're almost you're like you're mid 20s. Nice. And so I want to say Sean's at this is 17. Eat my dust, Sean. <laughs> 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 well now I guess I have to kill Carlos. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I I myself have been here one hundred times. Let me just say that. Wow. A loser. It's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking life, dude. Um I thought of a random ass question whenever I was looking at these paintings. Oh, what was the first Horror experience you ever had? Horror experience? Yeah, like watching a movie, horror uh, movie as a child. Oh, man. Uh, or a beginning one, not exactly the first. Oh, man, no, but The Shining was really f- fucking scary for me. I think, though, but the sc- Blair Witch Project had me running out of the theater, and that was at Palace 18, like, right when it opened. It was like, the shit. Palace 18 was like, whoa. Now it's a shithole. But, um, yeah, when I, I ran out of the theater. Damn. Yeah. I was never big in horror. I was horror. so fucking scared, dude. That movie freaked me the fuck out. I'm trying to think of the first. I think mine was Halloween. Oh, like, you know what? I, I I did watch Halloween, and I liked it. But mine, I think I watched well, it. For the I most like, part, I, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the genre, but I, I, Halloween was good. I saw the spy. Oh, Hostel. The uh, first time I saw Hostel, I fucking wanted to throw up. No, really? It's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey but hold up, hold up, hold up. Could co- we supposed to be popping champagne like we won a champion shit rank? We drank it already. I, oh, I drank real? it. Are you fucking with me? No, it's gone. <laughs> he drank it. It was like a quarter bottle. Yo, that bottle. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? I didn't get none. Yeah, I didn't get any either. You, you saw me get the cups out. I'm such a dick right He drank now. it like, dude, this was a long time ago he drank it. <laughs> you didn't notice me sipping on this for the past, like, hour? Hey, guys, just to divert the, <laughs> the, the all the attention. I feel like such a piece of shit right now. All right, look. Look, they gave it to us. It was like a quarter bottle, and I kind of fucked up. I'm sorry. Know uh, your fucking place, trash. Just to let you guys know, the reason why Sean and I are wearing the same thing as the last episode is because we went out last night. And we actually met up with a couple of hotties, and then we went to another club, and then those hotties turned into trannies, and then from then on, we slept over at my house, and we haven't showered or anything, but now we're here, so, right, Sean? Yeah, a couple Percocets, a couple aspirins later, we're right here. There's no amount of Tums that can get rid of a uh, syphilis, guys. Just let you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't believe you drank all the fucking champagne. I mean, you even you're, say you're talking I about I tried, it. I tried getting up to forget. Sorry, dude. You're you're talking about like you're talking about it like it's a a whole bottle. It was literally like a quarter, not even. No, it was it was over halfway. I know, it but I a- I figured you were like. You saw me sitting here sipping on it for the past, like, 45 minutes. You figured, like, oh, it's, I don't know. No, I, was, I didn't have good logic with it. No, he was, he was, I'm sorry. He was I'm being a shitty rest. human being right now. He was now. flipping his armrest. <laughs> I was being a There's shitty no person time no by pay. doing There's that. There's no pay attention. You know what? Pay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, you all, come I'm to okay. Me. All right. You come to me. I don't care. It's kind of funny, though, that you just asked for the champagne. <laughs> I knew it was gone. I was like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I, I just I thought it was funny. Yeah, I, I did think it was funny that you didn't realize I was gone too. <laughs> I was fucking saying up like the fucking the number one hundred and shit. I was I was preoccupied. I mean, we should have got a bottle of champagne, anyways. Right? The universe brought one to us, and you drank it by yourself. <laughs> I'm a shitty human being. <laughs> May I? Can I? Is it cool? Yo, this is not like fifth There you grade. go. So you know what's better than champagne? This, Matt. We could talk about your yeah. DMT experiences and Man, you know. the first time I ever did acid. I feel like a piece of I shit feel right like now. I, I, I feel horrible. <laughs> it's all right. We don't have to make the episode about you. Please do. <laughs> Listen. 
I would have drank it all too. You're like just, you were just smart enough to drink it when while it was cold. I took I took <laughs> the opportunity. Wait, but when did it come out of the fridge? You took it out of the fridge. I did. Yeah, I did it. Someone when, put it on that when you when table. you went to <laughs> that was the you went and grabbed it. You went and grabbed no, it. No, I I was pl- I was I was I was plugging up the cameras. You I were I took it out. You of the were fridge. in the kitchen getting chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken kitchen. <laughs> no pun intended, but that stuff is fire. Teriyaki it's, with it's not a pun, mustard it, curry. It's not a pun. It just but runs. who goes to chicken kitchen for anything besides the sauce? No, but I just drink oh. the sauce. <laughs> it was it's, it's honey garlic chicken from Chinese food. Chick- it, it's the chicken in the kitchen. In the kitchen, we're twisting like a stir fry. Mm. Yo, I'm so happy to be here with you guys, and we're gonna fucking call up Hiram later on in the pod. <coughs> I like I like how it's fucking is one eye is just looking through the number zero. What's your favorite memory from the pod out of the hundred episodes? That's a that's a solid uh inquiry there. Hmm. Mine is the first episode. Let's see. And like uh, what, okay, yeah, well, yeah, what the, about it? Yeah, the, the first episode it was like the first five episodes were so much fun. It was like being in a fucking playground, sort of god. That's why like in the beginning, um, There's so allegedly, many episodes allegedly that are that are two hours and two hours plus because the time just fucking flies and yeah. we're just fucking kicking it, having a fucking blast. Like it was, it was it, like there were so many things that were a big learning curve, but it was just so much fun. Um, it was like the first or second episode that uh. And we, ha- I haven't put that that much work into, like there are times I have, but I haven't put that much work into something uh, since, where we had a game, me and Hiram, and it was um, it was to see if Sean, <laughs> what his uh overall knowledge of like world, world figures figures were. You said Vladimir something, and I'm like, that's the fucking... Uh, and it was it was just such a fucking sincere moment. That's the enemy in Harry Potter, right? Cause like we, and, like, mm-hmm. he, he, he... It's because he was trying, but he was he was also riffing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like... And I'm like, Vladimir Lenin. And he's like, um, uh, that, oh, that's the, uh, that, that's the guy in Harry Potter. But it was, like, that moment, like, if you go back and watch it, <laughs> nah, it was... <laughs> it was an amazing moment. It's pretty sure. good. And then uh, there was someone that you kept thinking was the mayor of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, and then like Ulysses we had, Grant. Wow. And then we <laughs> asked him someone like like something like Jackie Robinson, and he's like, "Oh, that's one of the Jackson Five. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, the, his last name is not fucking Jackson. What the fuck? Like, uh, there was another time when uh. My boy. You're always holding it. I like it. It's like so elegant. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's almost like Ricky Bobby. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> what do I do with my hands? <coughs> uh, <Shreddy>. My boy. <coughs> I part fake, dude. My boy Kev was here. And. Cause obviously we have a big rotating door for guests. Love guests. Big love to everyone who comes on the pod. We have a lot of fun. And we do get interviewee. But I've I've never felt like this is one of those podcasts like interview orientated. Like this is the vibe and like you know, you're invited and you're part of the circle, you know what I'm saying? Obviously when people are here that uh, you know, wonder them themselves are interesting, you know, professionally or personally, or two, like, because a lot of people come on the pod are people that I've met even for the first time, you know, through Hiram or through you. You, I did, I met you for the first time on the pod, so it was like general curiosity, like getting to know you for the first time on camera. But, but this is not like fucking like sit down with Katie Couric 
and just like asking questions. But um, <laughs> my boy Kev came on the pod, and he just had like, and I've known him for years, and he just had such a fucking incredible story. And <laughs> bro, like me and Hiram, like your fucking noises, bro. What is that? <laughs> 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 Did you miss that, Sean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? It's ASMR, bro. It's, it's the whale inside of me. <laughs> is that really your body making those noises? It's all the fucking monster and <laughs> sugar, dog. I hear it like... Arr. Arr. It's the diabetes talking to me, bro. Arr. They used to comment on this every episode, him and Hiram in the beginning. Arr. Throwback. That's the fucking the monster. It's fucking incurring chemical reactions. It's literally the fucking beast. It was freaking me it's out. It's the beast. I'm like, is someone next door? No. <laughs> uh, it's it's, like, just it's the like, little man it's like inside of. It's like a frog. It's like a frog. It's like, me. It's the <laughs> hobbit <laughs> inside of Matt. That's there's a, there's a hobbit living inside of Matthew. Dude. I'm friends with the monster inside, inside of my head. Throat. I'm the throat, throat monster. I'm the throat monster. You throated a monster? Damn, dude. <laughs> Um, yo, there have been, yo, like, I think about sometimes, like, you know, just going, like, let's just say, like, just an hour, even though there were, like, maybe 15 or 20 episodes that are, like, two hours, bro, like, just on camera, forget about, forget about post and pre and just in general, just on camera, a hundred hours. Bro, like, it's... There have been a lot of moments. I'm trying to think of my favorite moment. So far. Out of the times I've been on. Yo, because I... Um, I was just watching those episodes the other day. The first ones you were on. And there, there were some... There were some hilarious moments. Yeah. I used all everything. I used everything. <laughs> <laughs> I used all the good stuff. I, had no, I have no good stuff left. I have to be really creative now. <laughs> Yo, I forgot. Um, animals have been your bit since the very first time you came here. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, the enema bit. <laughs> I love it, man. I have yet to try an enema. Yeah, my favorite bit is the my dad let me uh, my dad let me do whatever I want as long as I was having sex with women. I think I do remember this. Yeah, I remember one time like, I got home from like Ultra or something, and I had like blow. I look like I ate a powdered donut. Probably I probably had blow all over my face. And I get by. He's like, "Yo, what the fuck are you? What are you?" What? He's like, "What's wrong with you?" He's like, "What are you doing cocaine?" He fucking knew it. Like he fucking nailed it. You know, <laughs> I was like, "No, I'm tripping on acid." Ah, you know, and I ran in to get weed or something. And he's like, "What are you going?" I'm like, "Bro, there's two girls in the car." <laughs> There's two girls. They're so hot. I, I think I said they were twins. You know who you ladies are if you're watching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he was all like, oh. "Wait, they really are twins?" Or, or you just made that up? <laughs> That'd be fucking weird to have sex with twins, right? Because that's like you're basically. I didn't say incest. that. I had. To, I, I was just trying to get the fuck out of there, dude. You know, some of it's true and some of it's uh, some of it's fake. So you know? he, I didn't have sex with those chicks, but I just I was fucked up and my dad caught me. I was like, oh, well, you know, I was like, say are you in cocaine? You're but like, buddy, the chicks in the car. He's dad. all like, oh, OK. Really <laughs> but at the end, after I tell him, he's all like, mm, all right. You know, he was just OK with it. You know, I'm sure it could get to the point where he walk in the bathroom. I'm like slump on the toilet with a needle in my arm. <laughs> and he's like, golly, golly, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, I banged two chicks. He's like, oh, OK. All right. So I, he just let me leave me in there. <laughs> he let me get away with anything I'm like robbing a bank He's like what are you doing I'm like I'm trying to fuck these chicks I need this money <laughs> He's like oh, alright but keep me out of it <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking murdering Bro. somebody <laughs> He's trying to fuck the girl I'm trying to fuck <laughs> Alright is she hot Let me see a picture man You know, <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit <laughs> <laughs> it's really true though like you know it's i i th at least i felt that way you know having an older brother that's gay and a younger brother that's gay you know i really like took advantage of that i didn't have the heart to tell him about putting a finger up my butt oh and a toothbrush 
But it's all here on YouTube. Sean, um, do, do you have any cousins? Yeah. <laughs> ask him. Ask him. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> when you were younger, did you kiss your cousin? Never. Did I ask you this already? I don't think so. Here's if the I, thing about my family. We were like Caucasian. Yeah. And super Caucasian. So there was no like. Oh, so it's either intimacy. all the way. It was like all the way or nothing. Yeah, it was like. Until they're like, don't tell anybody or so fucking die. And also like my right. family's <laughs> fucking. We, we did not love each other. So there was no. Wow. Cousins and shit like that. That didn't exist. No, I have cousins, but we didn't fucking <laughs> hang out <laughs> and do normal shit that families would do. Oh, you, dude, you, you I like, like you didn't love each other. That's my. I like lived at my cousin's house. I fucking loved. I loved it there. <laughs> we used to have such my a good cousins time. <laughs> fuck you. No, I'm kidding. My That's cousins. <laughs> you are my cousin. If you want to donate to someone that didn't yeah. hang out with their cousins, call 1 800 996 7443. You're if you've ever been cousins. in a family where your cousins don't want to hang out with you and they just don't fuck with you in general, your cousins. we're here for you. We will support, we will cousins. cherish every moment that you haven't had and somehow transfer that into your brain through Neuralink. Shout out to Tesla, Elon Musk. My cousin. <laughs> Donate. This is your chance to make or a die. difference. This <laughs> is your chance to make a difference. Go ahead, grab your phone, pull out your fucking card, and give us your money. I need it. Because I'm trying to <laughs> fuck. Your cousin. <laughs> no, my, my cousin. <laughs> Wait, you're anybody's you're cousin. Your own anybody. cousin? Honestly, there's anybody could be a cousin, so any scenario could be instantly more exciting. Yo, I just realized <laughs> something. When you think about it, we're all cousins. Fuck yeah. I mean, are we? Like a thousand times removed. Wouldn't it be like millions? Billions? Nah, not. Mm. There's not that many people. It's watered down sauce, bro. It don't really. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer ketchup anymore, you know? Yeah, but it's not like when the kids come out with like more than two arms or less than two. <laughs> That's a different kind of cousin. One that only speaks through like barks. You know, there's a cut. There's a <laughs> in West Virginia. There's a family, and they're all. It's all like a, it's like the incest family in West Virginia. I think I've seen there's it a documentary on about it. The they're Whitakers. All, they're all like Durr, the Whitakers. Durr. It's called so. the Whitakers. <laughs> <Durr. laughs> nah, it's really Canceled. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna fucking? How the fuck do you not? How am I gonna get canceled, dude? Look at them, man. How is how are you not gonna shit on them? It's, it's impossible. It. Who is the activist group? Uh, LGBTQI. Going to Walmart is like going to fucking. Uh, Bush Gardens for them. <laughs> I don't think they make it out there, dude. I have to look up what they look. Like. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think they can make it out there. I don't think they'll make it that far. <laughs> I, I have to. Jesus, Yo, their town is not. They have to drive three hours just to get to Walmart in the next town. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just up. <laughs> Wait, I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just the Whitakers, yeah. I've seen that a couple times. Oh, okay. <laughs> they seem nice. No, but they're into us family. They all have they're all family and they I don't know. It just I know that I know that it's an incest based family. And it's like generational incest. You know, I think there's a difference. Uh there's royalty that used to be like those. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Keeping the the bloodline pure and shit. Yeah, but, but the, I, you think there's a difference between fucking family out of necessity or just out of lust? Dude, there's so many people. You know, like siblings, cousins that they just can't get nothing from no one else, and it's like you're my only option, sis. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta move. 
You seem like he's rationalizing it. Yeah. Yo, you know what I I thought about like. Yeah, I bet what you it, well, no. About here's it. the thing. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you see that in a lot of these country towns Yo, because there's nobody the you, fuck around. Do you ever do you ever look at other people that like their siblings, but they're attractive? And it's like, how do you not think of your sibling as like a potential fuck? Like, whoa, because I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't think your sister's hot? Like, you don't want to bully your sister? <laughs> that reminds me of Wolf Matthew, of Wall Street. Matthew, he's like, Matthew, 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 where are you, where are you going with this? <laughs> yeah, seriously, can we end this bit? You hit it once. You hit it once, dude. <laughs> You're, uh, you I, got a lot of questions, but no <laughs> answers. What's going on here? I'm an only child. Okay, oh, so okay, you never. Yeah. So you never have to go through that. Yeah. No, bro. It's like first of all, it's like nature's code for one thing, and I don't know, bro. <laughs> my sister's ugly as fuck to me, you know. I think my sisters are beautiful. I just think they could be really annoying. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find them extremely annoying. They're all sisters in my eyes. Um, damn, I really thought of something interesting while we were talking about. We could really use some of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass <laughs> topic. <laughs> so I, I feel like only one person should be violently high at a time. No, all at once. I mean, you're the one that's high. I'm like. A mix of that champagne and so where do you yeah see, you're, so you're where, <laughs> where do you see the I, where do you see the pod in the next hundred episodes by episode two hundred where do you see the pod any changes anything anything you want for the pod anything you want to aim for? goals goals you want to set for the next hundred episodes uh well first of all this this fucking pod is uh losing money like a boat the hole in it so I need two more sponsors or there will be no pod except. Like, it'll be downgraded to fucking some webcam shit. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Damn, it got serious. Fuck. All right. We got to up our game, boys. No, I'm going to take a Viagra so this boner could come back up because I was having a good time, but th this is a real bummer. I Shout have, out. I you have. You should have said that for the saddest memory. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, bro. I have, like, <laughs> like right now, like, six... Potentials. I just gotta take some fucking extra time to go fill them out. I feel you. Quick little hand job in the bathroom. That always works. People are gonna start really listening, so we gotta be careful <laughs> what we're gonna say, what we say. <laughs> it's been like all this freedom's been great, but you know, I don't know, uh, you know. Yo, shout out to fucking Brett at Sandbar. I already told him the fucking um the sponsorship. It comes with a fucking handy whenever you <laughs> Anytime. want Anytime. Yeah. He's like, fuck yeah. Bro, since February, every month, cut the check. Said, bro, fuck. It's great. I was going somewhere with that, but I was like, no, it's going too far. Let me reel it back in. Yeah, we're trying to keep the sponsors, not lose them, right? It's not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if as you're I showing start, appreciation? I started thinking, I, I was like, what am I selling right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one wants to buy into this. <laughs> Yo, so like I was saying uh, during the break, uh, we do a lot of... Uh, Improv singing. It's like a goddamn popsicle up in this bitch. Mm -hmm. We got to form a group and put out an album. Should be a doo op group. Trap doo op. Yo, we already have one banger. And mash. What? It didn't make any sense, but I just had to say it because it was satisfying. You said banger, and I said in mash. Bangers and mash. Move on. It's, it's a plate. It's actually really good. It's usually found in the UK. What is it, like beans and... It's like a porridge, right? No, it's like mashed potatoes and sausages. Bangers are sausages. English sausage. I what? Creepo monkey. 
Bangers or sausage. Coquito Monkey will bring you Coquito. It's Miami Santa Claus. So damn, this shit is hot. Ooh. We might just do this for a little while. Awesome. Yeah, I, I can't. That's that's one of my favorite moments on the pod. That was good. It was like a drum and bass kind of thing going on there. Yeah, the co- coquito monkey. I think that was more jungle, right? It was more of a jungle vibe. You want in on those on that beatbox, huh? Everything just fell into place. Yeah, those are those those are those golden moments. You can't force them. We're not your monkeys. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You guys as a duo, your name would be Shartlos. Shartlos. It's like when you guys are both here, it's Shartlos. If we ever get a timeshare, that's what we're going to call it. A timeshare? Shartlos? Uh, Uh-oh. A timeshare? Car shot. In Boca? Car shot. Are you co-signing on a credit card for me? Oh my god! Let's do, let's do it. I, you know, honestly, we could both use the help on our credit. Yeah, mine's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> What's a timeshare? Timeshare? I don't even know. Honestly, I think it's like a condo or some shit that you share with people for a certain <laughs> amount of time. Uh, I really, I swear to God, I have no idea. I mean, is that literally what it is? Basically, it's what it is. You. Don't you get it with like jobs sometimes? It's like a promo. Yeah, it comes, you know, but boy, but like my mom has one and the, the she could like move it around. Like there's different, they have different places and stuff and you can only get it a certain time out of the year. Oh, that's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody shares it. Uh, See, they say you have to go to school, but sometimes you just put two words together and <laughs> it explains exactly what it means. <laughs> Timeshare. Timeshare. We should all get a fucking timeshare. I wonder how expensive it is. Yeah. And then we just make it into the studio and we're like, all right, we have to we have a week here and let's come out with something. Come up with something. Oh yeah. But I would but I if we or, do, if we do something, we really have to conceptualize it though. Like what is it? What you know, what's the genre or or whatever? Like what what what's the purpose? I don't know. I don't know. I just really you know. New age Irish throat singing. Really? That's the genre. Gaelic, Celtic, Gaelic. Only if you make eye contact. Celtic is the fucking. I think Gaelic is what they speak, but Celtic is the. It's like a genre. <laughs> no, yeah. like Celtic music. I feel Celtic is archaic. Have you ever thought? Throw your sets up. <laughs> <laughs> Twist your fingers up. That's what I say when I get confused. <laughs> Throw your, let your fingers touch. <laughs> You're all like, what? <laughs> I want to make some Celtic, like. That's like Enya. Dude, my mom was. Only time. Some shit like that. Yeah. So I'd be fucking. You just gave me like. (laughs) You just gave me a nostalgia boner because I remember waking up after a nap after school or some shit to like candles. Mm -hmm. Taco meat boom, and Enya. Boom, My boom. mom made so many tacos as a child that I didn't think I was white. I didn't understand it. Didn't Wait. understand the dynamic in the house. But when you when you went to brush those teeth and you looked <laughs> in that mirror, 
And that is you're, a, a, you're a reassured. That is a grade A honky right there. You're you're reassured. You're like, but you're like, those are some good goddamn tacos. <laughs> you're like, damn, mom, how how'd you learn how to make these tacos, dog? I would say, yeah, like the the taco the kit that comes with the hard shells. Yo, I think it was just a kit. But when I was a kid, I was like, yo, these are the best fucking. No, tacos but I I still fuck with those, man. The hard shells, hell yeah. And yeah. SSX on tour, Max Payne on PS2, King Kong was the scariest fucking game of all time when I was a kid. King and then I remember Kong. when Dead Space came out, I felt like a new man. Really? I felt like it put some hair on my chest. Nice. Um, a Max Payne. It's a pretty fucked up game. Yeah. There was like a there's like a level where you're you're it was like a maze of tra- of trail of blood. The first one or the second one? The first one. I've only played the second one and the third one. The first one, though, I think I've seen clips of it on YouTube. Did you ever play Manhunt? No. It was, like, banned after a while. Why? Because there was just, like, too many animations of executions or something. Really? Yeah, something like that. It was just too fucked up. Rockstar made it. I think they released a remastered version of it, but no one knows what that shit is. Yo, you know where <laughs> I see the pod in a hundred episodes? Where? Uh small but loyal following. Underground. Underground as fuck. Um, well, I have so many great interactions uh with people on Instagram that uh like I just wanna fucking build out that community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, really have people, you know, like, fully metapod, man. Like, people, like, fully interacting, like, not just on social media, but, like, with the podcast. You know what I'm saying? You know, via what specifically, like, what topics they want our take on, like, right now. Dude, we should do Twitch as well. Yeah. We should start a Twitch. I'll be streaming Genshin Impact on Twitch. How's that going? Uh, I've had like five views going absolutely nowhere, but I still do it. That's life, bro. Yeah, I still put b- beats on BeatStars and nobody. Yeah. I haven't sold a single beat. I have like <laughs> 300 fucking beats on SoundCloud and no one gives a fuck. I give a fuck. Yeah, you do. My friends listen, which is really cool. I feel like that's the dopest thing about creating something is when you make friends, you're introduced to a whole new world of like artists can be friends based off the fact that they create something, but I don't know. Small talk. I don't want to talk about dumb shit. I want to talk about really cool shit. And then when you meet someone else that's very creative, you bond in a way that's just different. Yeah. So when people like, my music that are really close to me, it's like, that's better than anything ever. It's like a fucking hit of adrenaline almost. Yeah, for sure. I know. I know that feeling. Especially when a shouty fuss with your shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> yo. My, 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 my wife's ringtone is like, is like my music. It's beautiful. And then if she likes something, she's like, oh, I want that to be my ringtone. I'm like, oh, okay. That's very nice, but I have a I have friends, you know. Yeah, my girlfriend was like my number one listener on SoundCloud for like eight months before we even started dating. Oh, really? Which was really cool. He's a producer. Oh my god, he makes beats. Yo, brush your fucking beards, guys. It's healthy. Beards are uh, full of uh, bacteria and are disgusting. Well, if you wash it, it's yo still. It's this still is gross. fucking mustache game. You literally have a here. beard. I know. I I just know it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking about beards right now. It's mustache game. This is this is a mustafari. When you pull, mustache, you're the safari. only. How how can you be a gang if you're the only one with a mustache? When you pulled up, I thought I was getting arrested. Me and my mu- <laughs> I literally dropped trow and I pulled out my ID. <laughs> 
Yo, which, which is expired. Beards are basically just pubes. <laughs> Face pubes. I'm just brushing some pubes right now. Am I the only one that whenever I shave my pecker, it's like do you have to get it's a like more of an event when I masturbate? Like, do you it feels have to better. get a boner when you to shave your pecker? No, no, you just gotta like. That's you gotta fluff it up a little bit. It's a little dangerous. It can't be. It's a little dangerous. It can't be completely flaccid. It's gotta have a little blood. No, you, you, you don't gotta, put. A, you don't you put. Just a, gotta grab it and keep the tension on, so the skin is firm. But you don't just grab a little bit of uh of shaving lotion, whatever shaving cream. And just, I just use clippers. And just start fucking like, oh fuck. <laughs> no, I don't shave like, <laughs> oh, fuck. And you're all like, oh yeah. <laughs> dude, if you shave with razors. <laughs> you're a madman. You're all like fucking yeah, like that. Is that how you guys do it? <laughs> I don't do that. That's fucking <laughs> insane. That's I how. Like, I, that's how I put the nair on. But like you're like fucking shit, and then you fucking <laughs> like that. Do you guys? <laughs> a little bit of steam. <laughs> More steam. I I use the razor, I don't do that. not clippers. I couldn't do electric clippers on my balls. But I, bro, like you see how I fucking maintain my head. All right. Which one? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, yeah. Bro, I stopped shaving my nuts so long ago. And you want to know, you know, know something? I didn't hear shit about it. Yeah, yeah. There were no complaints. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, that was, you know, I'm fucking saving myself a lot of time. Like, that was a lot of a lot of work I was doing. Dude, I just put a one guard on the clipper and so my dick, no, has, I got like, I my got dick has like a fade. But first, do you like fucking, like, fucking shit? I know? slap it. <laughs> You're gonna fuck, man. I slap it. I make it Twist sign an NDA. Pop it. Turn it. Yeah. Squeeze it. Pop it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've done. I've I've gotten some nasty nicks. I've gotten some nicks. Nah. I've gotten some nicks on my balls. You ever popped a pimple on your ball sack? Uh, yeah. It's fucking. It's a weird it's experience. It's like an ingrown uh, ingrown hair. Oh, I just clenched. You I won't get, see oh, those on the Snapchat I go, I beauty a, ASMR videos. I get a cheese. I get a zester, and I go. I want to see some testicle pimples on those beauty AS, ASMR videos from now on. Okay, Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> some ovarian cysts. <laughs> just a ball hanging down with a little pimple, and just <laughs> milking it out like a cow. Oh damn, dude! <laughs> Fuck that. That was really graphic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, to the next hundred episodes <laughs> of ball, a ball pimple popping, <laughs> ball pimple popping, ball ball, ball pimple, pimple popping, uh, ball, ball pimple, pimple popping, ball ball pimple popping. You ever pop ball, pimple popping, ball, a pimple, pimple on your popping. testicle? Ball, pimple popping, it's ball, a motherfucking spectacle. Bill pop, bill pop, pop that pimple, pimple on your ball pimple popping, ball ball pimple popping, ball pimple popping, ball pimple popping. It's a motherfucking spectacle. Ball pimple popping when you pop a pimple on your testicle. Ball pimple popping, ball pimple popping. Ball people pumping, ball ball people pumping, ball people pumping, ball ball people pumping, ball people pumping, ball ball people pumping. Shaft is looking real loose. Ball people pumping, shaft looking like a fucking goose head. I got a goose head. Ball ball people pumping, ball 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 ball. Wreck it, brick a brick. Sorry, pop a pimple on your ball sack. Yo, so much COVID on those. Yeah, that yo. Not not a group to make an album. We just got to do a greatest hit soundtrack. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's more of an Instagram. Dude, we thing. need to bring keyboards in this motherfucker and make whole, like, I'll bring my ukulele next time. Oh, I left the fucking, I knew I was forgetting something at your crib. I knew it. Kalimba. We got to get an ocarina. I was thinking about bringing my guitar, in, but is that too much? No. Yo, like, see, see, this is like hella... Hella campfire vibes. Oh, type shit. I could like I could bring my interface and bring my electric. I also have I have a bass and an electric. And an acoustic. Yo, she she's about to go crazy. And yeah. I got I got a cajon. I'm gonna bring my drum set. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking set it up ev- everywhere. No, nah, just bring my kick snare and my hi hat. What it right are there. what are the rare instruments that you want but you don't need? Oh man, a uh, hundred didgeridoos! I was, uh, <laughs> dude. You just said something that was in my head. Yeah, uh, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, really? Really think about it. What, what's an instrument that you really want, 
that you don't need, but you've always wanted to learn? A sax. Fuck yeah. I always want to learn sax. Were you in band in middle school or anything or high school? Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. did you play brass or did you play? I played drums. You were in percussion the well, whole time? I played in jazz band and I also played in marching band. Drumline? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was in drumline in high school. Yeah, but I played like guitar and bass at home, but I didn't play in school. I wasn't that good. Still not that good. <laughs> Dude, in middle school, I remember the best part was whenever they were like, okay, you get to pick an instrument, whatever you want to learn. And then, uh, because I tried out for the magnet and I made it with guitar. (coughs) And I was like, I don't know what the fuck. And so I went for like a dumbass clarinet. And then I realized, nah, this ain't my instrument. I don't be, I don't want to be known as the clarinet dude. And everyone was playing reeds. So I went to trumpet, trombone and trombone was the shit. Boner. And then I played tuba because my teacher was like, you don't have to do the midterm or the final if you play tuba because no one wanted to play that shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you, did you rip it? I got pretty good, and then I made it into high school for tuba, and then I marched sousaphone ninth grade year, like the wraparound tubas. Mm-hmm. Bro, my left trap was insane because it, like, just rested right on my left shoulder, and you'd have to stand there for hours. Marching band was fucking... It was dope, but I left the trap, but I'm so good in the hood. Standing y'all. on that concrete for like six, Standing seven hours. Standing on that concrete for six, seven hours. But whatever, yeah. Um, yo, then I did drumline. Drumline was amazing. Yeah, I had a moment. I was like, yo, are we about to do this again? Uh, what? <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna tell you something. Yo, you have no eyes showing right now. <laughs> I, I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Yo, I was I was in I was in a jazz band for three years, and then I got kicked out for smoking a cigarette, and then I dropped out. But when I yeah. it's fucking jazz, and you can't smoke I, a cigarette. I know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm imagine sh- imagine <laughs> a teacher. You're smoking a cigarette right outside, like uh, the band room. Right outside the practice room, the teacher's like, uh, excuse me, kid, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, it's okay, I'm a part of the jazz band. Yeah, you know? yeah. Little 15-year-old smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I actually got a, I got in so much trouble. We were in California. I was supposed to get an outstanding musicianship award, but I didn't get it because I let a kid from another school in our hotel room, and he had weed, and then we got caught. I had nice. a panic attack after that, actually. Only First and only. That's whack. Yeah. Bro, I've had so many panic attacks in my life. Really? Oh, I had bro, like seven bro. today. <laughs> bro, you just had a panic attack and Sean was like, this is my moment. Yeah. <laughs> this is my moment to let I'm an it advocate shine. for it. You have what? Advocate? Yo, I realize. I'm an advocate for it. I have panic attacks too. Yeah? Yeah. Bro. I think I think you saw me have one when we got here. Really? Nah, that was a panic. Panic attack is like, no, you're but, like hyperventilating. No, no, no. but like goes numb. Micro panic attack. Yeah, it's not like a full on. You can't fucking breathe. And you let me up. tell my truth. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell my truth? Power to you, Matthew. You guys are fucking pussies. So you saying I have those all the time. I call that. Oh, I feel like I'm falling constantly. I just I, don't talk about it. I can call it whatever <laughs> I want. Do you feel like you're falling? It's a stigma. You feel like you're falling? No, I just feel like my brain's like a million places at one time. There's so many half form thoughts and not one single thought. Oh. Yo, when I have stuff to do, I, I, I get so yeah. like entrapped within like how much time I have between now and what I have to do. And it's like I can't commit to any activity and it fucking it just fucking blows my productivity. It's the worst. Maybe you need some fucking riddling. <laughs> Bitch, I might. I mean, how much do you have to get done in the day? Yo, I got a to-do list that's three pages long. Really? Yeah, and I just... Since I've known you, you've had a huge to-do list. And most of that stuff, since I told you I have a to-do list, is still on there. Like, for years now. And it's like, yo, because I, I can't... Like, I'm so weird about shit. It's like... And also, I, I, I hate traffic so much that it's like, okay, like... If I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna be on this side of town, cause I gotta go to this building, uh, I need to 
I need to be over here so I can get this done too and that done too. That way I don't have to go back over there. And so I have it set up in my mind. So, okay, I need to fucking be doing shit by like fucking like 9.30 a.m. And then I'll, I'll wake up or I'll like I'll go to the gym, eat breakfast, whatever, and it'll be like 11.15. And I'll be like, man, it's already 11.15 by the time I get over. Because also, too, in Miami, and for me, this is the big stigma personally, is like, first of all, us, uh, except for the hours from like 1 a.m. to 4, traffic. Yeah. Moderate to severe every other time of day. Um, so it's like in my mind too, like if I if, if it's already eleven, I can't go out and do shit because I'm gonna be wrapped up in traffic out fucking like if I if I project myself, you know, being still being en route or coming back from somewhere like after two PM, I'm like, no, I'd rather just fucking stay home all day. Because yeah. that sounds fucking horrible to me. Yeah. It's like I don't I don't want to be in the process of going anywhere between the hours of fucking uh four and eight p.m. Yeah, it's pretty. Except shit. like for me, coming here is doable in mid afternoon because I know I'm going against rush hour. So yeah, there's a lot of traffic, but. And also, because I'm coming from deep south, and so I'm there's you know there's minimal cars going north at that time. They're all going south, so that doesn't really affect me. But I gotta be fucking strategic when I'm gonna leave the house in the afternoon. Like I, just, I don't go places on a whim in the fucking weekday afternoon. Okay, that's how that's how you fuck around and fucking add <coughs> forty five minutes to two hours to whatever your fucking drive is. Just fucking sitting. At the you'll, you'll be at the same light. There's so many lights that I'm just like, oh, like I just want to avoid them. Bro, Sean, Sean was in the car with me. He's seen our back roads all the way. I don't. I stay the fuck away from US one. I'm not trying to sit at the same light for fucking like six cycles. Okay. Not only that, I feel like yo, I've been talking for a long time. There's more. <laughs> there's more shade on the back roads where it's nice trees yeah. and shit. It's scenic. I like w- like we was on a main road for like five minutes, and I was already fucking uh, screaming in the car at fucking like three different people. Then it happened once. Once Dude, I got dr- hit them back streets. The majority of people in Miami are driving like fucking psychopaths, bro. Little bitches. At least four times away. Yo, I drive in Miami. Yo, well, fuck you. All right, well, fuck you too. <laughs> at well, least- fuck me. Yo, like three times a week, I fucking got the window down so I could fucking give someone the fucking finger. Wow, you go, you do that. You yeah. know, the other day I actually. Yo, but motherfuckers be killing motherfuckers yeah. over road rage in Miami. That's crazy. That's some whole other shit. Yeah, so don't, don't for the dude. Do me a favor and don't do that anymore. At least just, not with me. In just car. go. Sorry or whatever. Just don't. Just go on with your day. Something that my uncle taught me, at least driving in Miami, which was really smart, was don't. Be in a rush for shit because you're just not you're 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 not gonna get anywhere constantly yeah. trying to get in front of somebody like just literally cruise. Someone's gonna cut you off. Have there, the worst expectations. There's stretches I think like that's great. the interstate or whatever where speeding up, you're actually gonna take time. Yeah, you know, don't be a person to make traffic, but, but don't. Don't aggress. But that's like, bro, like, I, like people be doing these fucking crazy maneuvers on, like, between lights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, why are you even doing that extra wear and tear to your car? So what? Like, yeah, you got to the light fucking 45 seconds before me, but now we're both sitting here for two minutes. Like, yeah. what did you accomplish? And, you know, that probably stems from people that drive like that aren't rational thinkers to begin with. Calling you out. There's a lot of them, bro. What's also crazy is half the people that are driving, more than half, probably more than like 80% are just looking at their fucking phone. That's me. Yo, I just realized, what are we fucking talking about right now? Exactly. Uh, We uh sound like (laughs) fucking boomers. Okay, boomer. A hundred episodes and this is what we're talking about? Speaking of being out in traffic, you know how much I fucking love is Almost Dry, Pusha T's album, okay? Mm -hmm. Album of the fucking year. I thought you were going to say Krispy Kreme for something, for some reason. In regards to what? The donuts. 
No, but I was going to say Krispy Kreme. Like, where did you see that? You said driving. I, I don't know. It just popped up in my head. I could go for some Krispy Kreme right now. I would fuck up a dozen. All right, continue. Sorry. <laughs> um, And, yo, uh, I didn't like this shit. Uh, you remember when let's you remember when this was the beginning of the decline for DJ Khaled's uh uh stratospheric rise in uh social media from Snapchat is when his second album uh that you know flower themed and shit after the first one the cover with the garden and the lions yeah I forget, I forget the names key. of both of them was Major Key the first one or the second one oh. well not his first first album but Whatever you remember his rise in social media, and then, then he dropped Major Key. Oh, and then Father of Assad, right? And it did number two or whatever on the charts. I don't fucking know this much about DJ Khaled. Well, he loves DJ Khaled. No, so but then and then that's when Tyler's Igor had dropped, right? Yeah, yeah, and he beat him. Got oh, number one. yeah, yeah. And this was in really, really bad taste. I don't know why he said it like what he thought it was going to be received as. And that that you know honestly like it's not like it damaged his legacy or anything, but that for me that caused uh it like irrevocably <coughs> uh you know kind of skewered his you know public perception when he said that comment about like oh you know this mysterious shit like bro like motherfuckers are like just because it's not you know. M- and there's ego got songs you could bump loud in traffic. Hell yeah, cause you made my earthquake. But also too, oh, like the type of songs he got in there, like you really think the Tyler Creator fans, and also at this point he's gone mainstream and shit. He's he's won a fucking Grammy, dude. He's but um, like you really think that shit's not getting fucking played back to back to back? And you know what I'm saying? So he he made that comment throwing shade at Tyler, and it it was just so, like, it was in such bad taste. Yeah, he fucked up by doing that because there's so many, I I would say, more genuine Tyler fans than there are DJ Khaled fans. And he really really showed a side of him that didn't align with all that, uh, you know, they don't want you to win. Like, like it didn't didn't align right, and that, you know. He he came off as God did. (laughs) Dude, he's making... So much money, and he's hating on someone for just taking his spot. Someone that actually put time and effort into, like, their craft. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying he didn't. Khaled did in a way. No, like, I look, no, no, but he does. But it's just, anyways, I say all that to say, because that's all news. And obviously, uh. Yeah, what the fuck are we talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, until I see, like, that they've, because uh, Tyler's addressed it, kind of. And interviews are like on the street from paparazzi but until like dj khaled dj khaled needs to if he wants to like restore his standing he needs to reconcile with tyler and then put out a track together god did uh, like otherwise it's just gonna be anyways i say that to say though that i was walking to cvs the other day and there was you know traffic on the main road by cvs and you know what i heard uh, and motherfuckers bumping Pusha T loud as fuck, and I was like, "That's what it is right there." Okay, <laughs> album of the fucking year. All that build up was just to say that. Yeah, <laughs> all of that, such little payoff. I think Kendrick has it, definitely. Cap, sorry, it's a cool album, but bro, it's almost dry. Classic, classic. It's almost dry. You think so? I don't think so. Fuck you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it 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 maybe it is. I don't know. I mean I like it for what it is, I like it, you know. Did you listen to it? Sean, did you listen to it? No. <laughs> Not yet. I, I no. Think, I think it's a great album. Honestly, the only albums I've been listening to that are like recently released was Kendrick's. That's what I'm saying. Have you listened to Kendrick's album? I've only been listening to Curb Le Goop. Le Goop. Fucking Yeet. Which I gotta stop listening to Yeet. I'm turning into a cartoon character listening to him, bro. What do you mean? Just the way he I've been like screaming his ad libs at work and people think I'm fucking on the spectrum, I swear to God. What what go ahead. 
I'm not that guy because I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> is that literally what's happening? Pull up and I'm still in the Tonka. Rax came in and I'm still in his Tonka. I like it. You know what was the first one? I'm not a guy. <laughs> I'm not that guy because I'm him. I mean, if I if I saw you in public, <laughs> I, would, I would think you had some rats. You remember that episode of South Park where where Breaking into that, into that, into that big turban. Okay. <laughs> Where Cartman pretending he had Tourette so he could say fucked up shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's he's pretending to be um, special handicap a bunch of times. Did, I remember you, know that, did you know that Billie Eilish has Tourette's? Really? Yeah, I know that because I'm her number one fan. Did she really have Tourette's? Yeah. How did she, how, when does she have it? <laughs> when, <laughs> Gotta <laughs> take a break for everything that caused me stress. When does she have I wanna ter- see it. When does she have Tourette's? Got to take a break for everything that cost me bread. Yo, she was doing an interview. She said she, like, if you pay attention, she gets ticks all the time. Really? Yeah. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> look Yo, it's 100 episodes. What the fuck is going on? Uh, um, What do you want, what do you want me we to do? We should have got. What do you want me to do? You want meditation? <laughs> oh, we didn't meditate today. We should have got some fucking. Yeah, we did. I mean, no, no, we, we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't, because this isn't today. This <laughs> is <laughs> another time. This is tomorrow. Yo, today isn't today because time is an artificial construct. It's not I even like real. Anacondaing this strap. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my God, he's got a, it's an arm bar. Yo, I'm fucking this thing up right now. He's got him in an arm bar. <laughs> Keep talking shit, bro. He must feel good. <laughs> you know what? He's having, you, you know why he's having a lot more fun than us? With great power comes why? great responsibility. Because you drank the fucking <laughs> champagne, bitch. The whole fucking bottle by yourself. No, not the whole bottle. Don't don't cap. You know this man came out of nowhere and was like, do you guys want a quarter of this champagne bottle that was probably sipped on by prostitutes and dirty hookers? Hell yeah. Matt just screamed yes. I don't well, know. Well, I mean, they are they are filming the this, we're, we're Housewives or whatever down the halls. So. Allegedly. We should ask one of them for another. We should ask one of them broads for another bottle. No, there's no one over there right now. Be like, damn, okay. shawty, let me get a piece. Let me get a... Yeah, I want to fuck. Y'all got some prosciutto? I, yeah, I, By I, prosciutto, I mean that Arby's, that roast beef sandwich. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I want an oyster po' boy. <laughs> oh. Right? I'm, I'm fucking hungry. Y'all Grilled. talking about old support boys and Krispy Kreme? What the fuck? All right. Let's say you have limited resources when you're super fucking baked. Yo, what's up with all these qu- queries you got it's today? F- <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Yo, Carlos, you notice this shit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even it's fucking, epic. It's epic. Do you? Would you go for shrimp and grits? Shrimp and grits. Yeah, or, sure. Or Pal- polenta, though. I or, like polenta better. Or a bagel. <laughs> a bagel with what? <laughs> Just a plain bagel. No, shrimp and grits. And cream cheese. <laughs> cream what cheese? if the shrimp and grits was two days old? <laughs> two days old? In the fridge? In the fridge. Yeah, I fuck it up. But in the hottest spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now that cream cheese is on the table, I'll take the bagel. I kind of would take the bagel. Yeah, but you did everything for me not to want the shrimp and grits. <laughs> <laughs> that was so... Uh, <laughs> this is a time where we go on and reflect on the past hundred episodes of From Shrimps to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. Episode one. Welcome to <laughs> Shrimp Shoot to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. Show no other, not a show about uh, neither Shrooms <laughs> nor Skyrim, but those are just the motherfucking parameters. <laughs> I'm your host, the Ball Bambino. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, <laughs> where we'll continue the first episode of From Shroom to Skyrim. You should make Matthew. a second podcast yeah. just narrating each podcast. Yeah. I remember the first time I laid eyes on Anthony Dufresne. He was a timid man. 
I do declare. I do declare. This I must do be declare. I do declare. You ever, <laughs> you ever put the strap on in the microwave just to make it a little tastier? Mm-hmm. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. I took that strap on right out. Mm-hmm. Put some lemon pepper seasoning on it. Mm-hmm. Shoved it right up my old lady's puckered butt, uh, butt talks. She let out a holler that <laughs> done scared the pups away. That's what it's like to drive a Ford. <laughs> hate your wife. <laughs> hate, your, hate, your, hate, your, hate your wife. Don't get a divorce. Be a man. Deal with it. <laughs> That's what it's like to drive a Ford. That's what it's like to drive a Ford. I love my truck. Put it in my butt. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Get in my truck. No. And put it in my butt. A pair of jeans that just feels right. And then I'm going to fuck up my wife when I get home drunk. I'm going to hit her in the head because I'm a drunk piece of shit. I'm just kidding. It's two against one right now. Wife so. looks like a dyke. It's, it's two against one, so I'm she not going to She can't on ride one. a bike. <laughs> we had a guest that came on and was showing us this hilarious. He's like, this is the most hilarious thing. He kept showing us a video. But he did a full music video about um, a guy being in love with his cousin. Oh, yeah, Bozo. Oh, yeah, Bozo. He made a song about it. I, th- I think it's called Cousin Fucking. <laughs> it's a hot topic. Oh, my favorite store. Who would you, dude? Who would you? What would you rather have? Uh, or <laughs> <laughs> no? But seriously, what would you rather have? Five hundred k or dinner with Jay Z? <laughs> Is that a sway question? No, that was a question going around the end. Would like you rather? Months. Would you rather? Fight. Would you rather fight a chicken every time you stepped into a car? So, like, every time you were in a passenger or... Wait, but you have to fight it in the car, or are you, like, transported to the gulag? Just every time you open a car door, there's a chicken that's angry at you, and you got to fucking square up, and you got to kill that chicken to survive. Would you rather fight a chicken every day or one angry chimpanzee chicken once a year? Chimpanzees will fucking rip your face off and kill you. <laughs> All right, what, I'll train for the whole year. Yeah. I would I would just fucking murk it. <clears throat> the chicken. That's a lot of free food, actually, if you kill a chicken every day. And how do these chickens keep spawning? Or is someone <laughs> putting them there? The second you open the, the click from a car door ha- happens, say you're getting an Uber or you're a passenger in your friend's car or you're going to drive, chicken's going to fight you. But it's like a, it's like I a, already said the chicken. It's like a beefy chicken though. Like it's gonna <laughs> scratch you. It's gonna. It looks. It sounds. Eventually, like, it's sounds gonna get like one of your eyes, if bro. If you think about it, it's free dinner. So ch- that's what I was. Yeah, it's a lot of chicken. All right, so there's these three guys, and they're on a camping trip. I might be one of these three guys. I might, I might be one of these three guys. All right, it's a true story. Um, we were, we, you know, we were camping and we made some s'mores and, you know, it was really cold out. We were in, uh, Minnesota. So the sleeping bags, we had them pretty close cause like it was fucking freezing. And, um, I was on the, I was on the far right and we, I passed out, you know, we woke up in the morning and I fucking had the best dream, dude. I had the dream that, like, some fucking lady, the hottest chick was, like, jerking me off. It was fucking sick. I noted it and everything. I was like, whoa, shit. I know, what dream? Never happened to me before. And then the guy all the way on the far side, same fucking thing happened to him. You know, You know what happened, right? And then the guy in the middle wakes up, and he's like, dude, I had the craziest dream. I was skiing. 
<laughs> yeah. You can, you can keep that one. It's a good one. It took me until about halfway through when I realized it wasn't a real story. <laughs> yeah, but you looked at me for a second like, the other guy nodded too? And then what? Yo, would you rather... <laughs> Would you then rather, what? Would you rather shit piss? Then what? And then what? I'm gonna do some more. Would you rather shit piss or piss shit? Shit piss. Shit piss. <laughs> piss shit. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I would I never drink water, thing. dog. I uh, said the wrong thing that I wanted. Yo, he like, said shit piss. Is <laughs> yo, imagine that feeling. You know, like. When your butthole muscles are working to push the shit out, like that just happening, like in your dick, like <laughs> no, it's like you're passing a giant stone, you'd fucking die. Dude, kidney your stone? dick would explode, <laughs> <laughs> or it'll be like a little stream. You of could poop. never eat. It would be like a stream of <laughs> <laughs> like a stream of poop, like <laughs> hard, and it's going like this, like, like when like, you squeeze the play doh through yeah, those hair yeah. things. Yo, you know the the things that write on cakes with ice. Things? Yeah, like a piping bag. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. <laughs> you could write happy birthday grandma in a fucking gang with shit with your dick. <laughs> It'd be like the uh <laughs> like the squeezy cheese, the fucking spray cheese. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, a cheese a, a cheese whiz. <laughs> like a can of cheese whiz. But a poop out of your dick. A little peanut. That'd kinda be satisfying. It. Unless it's like spicy poop. That would suck ass. It would be painful. Cause you know how like when you when you eat hot sauce it doesn't come out your dick like hot sauce you don't pee that shit but when you poop it's like fire so then that'd be coming out of your dude dick. where did you even get that where did you where it comes up, where did you get that from cite, <laughs> cite your sources cite your sources you don't right pee now. whenever you when you, you eat, a <laughs> <laughs> eat a soup eat a soup you dude, pee the soup you don't eat the dude, soup dude it's fucking common <laughs> sense dude <laughs> when you eat a soup. You poop. <laughs> what are you talking about? He pooped the soup. <laughs> you pooped the soup. <laughs> you pooped the soup. You pooped the soup. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Uh, no, but the hot, sauce, the hot sauce is only in your pee. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you ate hot sauce. Whenever you ate something hot, you piss out the same shit that comes out your butt. What happens when, it, when you put it on the food? <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't... You know, what? Like, what happens when you put it on your food? And what happens when you, if you eat a jalapeno? Do you piss spice? Am I tripping? Do I not have feeling in my dick? <laughs> do I have AIDS? No, but do you feel spicy in your pee? No, right? So it it, it doesn't burn. It doesn't, right? Am I tripping? No. Yo, why are you like movie stuff? Are you about to check? I'm fucking, I'm having a panic attack. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's just take a look under the hood real quick. No, you only shit, you only shit lava. You don't fucking piss lava. I'm positive. You ever like had the poop so bad that you're sta- in the car and you're standing like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like this, like, ah! <laughs> it's happened to me. It's pretty bad. <sighs> I've had family members shit in the car. Oh, <laughs> and it was just a, it was just an agreement that my brother did it when he was really young, and they drove for miles. And like, why does it smell like shit? What do like, you mean it was just an agreement? Like you guys took a pack <laughs> shit in the no, car? No, just no. We just took a pack, never to mention it. Oh, everybody, but, go ahead and rip it. <laughs> Everybody rip it. We, we we were on a tight schedule. Yo, that reminds me. One of my favorite moments from the last 100 episodes. <laughs> the last 99, really. Uh, When Sean pissed in a bottle. You did that on camera? Yeah. I have a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get back to those <laughs> wild card days. Because <laughs> he drank a Gatorade. And then he literally, and it wasn't, it wasn't the the small size Gatorade bottle. It was like the the bigger size, not the biggest size, but the bigger size Gatorade. Mm-hmm. 
and he filled up the whole bottle with piss. Like, up to the fucking plastic ring. Like, I'm telling, dude, it was... Was it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you drink a bottle of Cholula before? Cholula. That's what... I'm going to name my daughter Cholula. <laughs> I like that name. Caller, you are on the air. Cholula I Davis. This what? I'm not on the air. Hiram, I'm going to name my first daughter Cholula. He's on the air. You're on the air, bud. Did you want to? Did you want to oh say God. hello to one of the guests on the show or something? Who is who's calling in? Timmy, <laughs> little Timmy. I hate all of you. I was sleeping. Is this, Bye. This is the Make a Wish. Yo, don't the sleep on episode one hundred. <laughs> I thought I was already on episode one hundred. No, no, when sh- you called me. no, no, no. This is a whole edit. other day. We got to edit this out now. No, I, I thought <laughs> I thought we made it clear we're, we're doing we're doing two a days. That, that was episode ninety nine. We just blew the magic. Oh my god! No, but it's fine. Well, Cause we're fucking stocking up for when I go out of town, so that everything will be uploaded and ready to go. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. All yeah. right, episode 100. Woo. Oh, hey, can, uh, can, can you Facetime what me right fucking now? Fucking dick, piece of shit. What? Uh, can you Facetime me? I want to show you the balloons. Yo, Facetime him, man, please, bro. <laughs> Let's well, see, so you're there peeking out. You're, you're holding, you're holding it. It's you, it's you holding the zero in the middle. Why, why aren't you happy to see us? What is, what is that, that pink thing? Daddy. Oh. Hey, what's up, buddy? Aren't you happy to see us, daddy? <laughs> can you hear, you can hear us through that shit? Yo, I'm trying, yeah. to, I'm trying to get Justine yeah. pregnant. You got to show me some of those moves, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you on camera. Are you ready? Baby oil of Boilo, bro. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yo, I just got violated. What the? <laughs> dick That's how you do it. Is your dick on there? It it was. <laughs> Studio looks nice. This just got real. That's just creepy. Like the balloons? <laughs> um, do they let you near school zone? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like oh, the mustache, rapey, rapey cop. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm committed. I'm committed. I'm committed to the stash. You want to ride his handlebars and? <laughs> You're gonna get committed. Is what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. I miss it. I miss that. Uh, Carlos, the energy that's coming off of you right now is so awesome. I'm so fucking stoned so right now. I'm like dying. Energetic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm like violently. You see high. how his eyes aren't even open? Uh, Harm, would you shit. rather would you rather shit piss or piss shit? But the shit that comes out of the John, b- what? why do you always <laughs> just breath? <laughs> Yo, we just had I'm a going big, out of town. We just had a big discussion about this. I'm going to the keys. <laughs> You're this is the keys so, fit. Sean, it's 118 degrees outside, and you're wearing a scully. Fuck you. No, the, the, the build, for the fashion. The, the Where build, are you? The Alaska? building has air conditioner. Air conditioner. It's toasty in here, though. Dude, it's blue baby. <laughs> it's toasty in here, though. <laughs> it's blue baby, Dude, baby. It's blue baby. <laughs> blue baby? Like a blueberry, but blueberry. Carlos, what's your shirt say? It says humanity. I have no faith in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. You should write. You should ghost write another book about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, there's I, no better time I'll let than you know. right now to show him what you do to his face. Oh no, I'm not gonna. I, I don't uh, have the energy. Oh, uh, I'll fuck Kirby in the face though. <laughs> it's right here. But this is you though. Don't fuck Kirby. That's Hiram. Oh, my name's Hiram. Can, can you, you please that's, fuck that's my like, face? Oh, sure, out. Hiram, no problem. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh, hi, my name's Hiram. I, I was in Hollywood. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what Carlos isn't even making me laugh. It's your stupid laugh is making me laugh. And Carlos, stop f***ing Kirby because that's probably why you're not getting Justine pregnant. Damn. Okay? Damn. Stop self-satisfying, bro. 
No, that was, pre- that was pretty good. He got me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Angry ejaculation. Oh my god! Put a hole in Kirby, bro. Let's put a hole in Kirby. <laughs> Let's put two holes in Kirby. Oh wait, so, Sean has the one with the hole in it. Sean. Yeah. That Deadpool has STDs. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and now he got it for me. Well, that's that's fine. Do you think Ryan, yeah. Ryan Reynolds has STDs? No, nah, he's perfect. I did not say that. You do not talk about Ryan Reynolds like that. I won't. I won't. I was just. I. I mean. I think. I mean. I think I, he's probably got. But I think Deadpool as like the character would have had many. No, because he's got a healing factor. It it cured his cancer. Yeah, but he should have had it a million times. <laughs> he should have had the clap, syphilis, <laughs> gonorrhea, the legit shit, herpes. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, he'd look like a giant herpes blister. <laughs> if you want to know what herpes look like, <laughs> you'll, it'll, the, your dick would look <laughs> like your dick would look like Deadpool, right? Wait, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Imagine, What's wrong with you? <laughs> he got that Deadpool dick. I got that Deadpool dick. He got that Deadpool dick. I got that Deadpool dick. I got that Deadpool dick. I got that Deadpool dick. He got that Deadpool dick. I got that Deadpool dick. He got that what? That Deadpool dick. He got the who? That Deadpool dick. I said Deadpool dick. Deadpool dick. Deadpool dick. Rip that rip that job out. A hundred more episodes of this shit coming your way, bud. (laughs) Straight out of downtown, bitches. Quality content here. We're going to be on the streets doing this shit with no cameras. (laughs) (laughs) Just like on the corner, like, just like, yeah. Doing raps like that. Yo, I'm I'm gonna let you go back to bed, buddy. All right, man. I love you guys. Have love fun. you. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Bye. Oh, my name's Iron. Can I suck your? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna kick your. I'm gonna kick your ass like this guy in Hollywood that one time. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yo, where are we at? It's time to go. All right, cool. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I got to brush my beard some more. Peace. <sighs> fucking. Fucking. It's morphin' time, guys. No, it's morphin' time. Yo, I. Uh monster i'm uh in your pants you're gonna cry <laughs> no oh shit i was like yeah dude it's 100 episodes i got it no <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah don't know this. yeah no nah, i just really appreciate having you guys here oh thank you uh for this historical moment Yo, you know, like, this is a, this is like 89% of fucking podcasts, like, don't even make it past episode four. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Some stats I saw a while back. And, Consistency. Uh, you know, this is, this is, in the scheme of things, like, this is just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you got to start somewhere. And, bro, I think, I think fucking 100 episodes is, is nothing to sneeze at. Like, who says that? <laughs> Who like sneezes sneeze at, at things? <laughs> this is an accident. Yo, did you just fucking sneeze at me, bro? <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude, is that fucking blackface, dude? Did you just sneeze at me, bro? Uh, who sneezes at things? <laughs> Sorry. That's something people say. I've never, I've never heard, heard that, that in my life. That's not something to sneeze at. Achoo. Sounds like some booty It's an shit. accident. I feel like they say that in Louisiana. You guys have never heard that? That phrase? ain't nothing to sneeze at, I'll tell you. No, it's like, oh, dude. Um, no. 
No, I haven't heard that. But continue. Hundred episodes. Sneezing. Sneezing. <laughs> Sneezing. Sneezing. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Even Stevens. <laughs> Cheese and creeping. Sneezing. Sneezing. Pee pee. Cheezing. I took the pee pee out the pants. I took my pee pee out my pants. I took my pee pee out my pants. From shrooms to Skyrim with Mackie off his pants. I took my pee pee out my pants. He took a pee pee off his pants. From shrooms to Skyrim. A hundred episodes of crazy. I love you. Hey, I don't want to fucking forget uh, to say I appreciate all the fucking viewers, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all! Nah, I, I, I kind of did forget to touch on that. Uh, everybody that's ever watched, even just a clip on Instagram or TikTok, you know, obviously you you filming something to be consumed. So every fucking viewer, fucking that takes the time to fucking listen, that uh, get some uh, sick pleasure out of watching us. I uh, fucking appreciate the fuck out you. I like watching you guys too when you shower. She how I feel. She gets so real. She gets so I appreciate real. every single uh, guest. That takes the time out their day uh, to come and sit with us and just fucking listen to us talk. Uh, but I fucking appreciate the fuck out of Hiram. Start this power with. I fucking appreciate Sean. Um, came off me and Hiram start the pod and. Came well, fucking uh, so many fucking brainstorm sessions in the beginning. Uh, you know, those are fucking times I look back fondly on when when we when you pulled uh, this song out that we made the shroom song. She was fun as fuck. Yeah, um, so many fucking so much uh you know brainstorms that you know she's always been a fucking blast. There's something about that song, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> Some magic to it, and uh, yeah, bro. This this definitely want to have, you know, you uh, irreversibly like you know put your flavor in the in the mix. You know what I'm saying, and help shape everything. You know, yeah, like, you're fucking creative genius, dog. Like everything you do is like the way you do things is super substantial, dog. Thank you. Yeah. And boy, I fucking appreciate you, Carlos. Uh, you came on like three months ago to the pod, and then thought like, you one of the fucking funniest motherfuckers <laughs> I ever met in my life. Uh, funny like what? <laughs> funny looking. Goddamn. Like I'm a clown. Goddamn it, Bubba. I'm here to amuse you. <laughs> And uh, bro, I'm I'm so glad that you had a good time because you kept coming back, and then, bro, you were uh, and then that shit the the fucking transition from Hiram to you, uh, seamless, seamless, seamless. Well, I'm happy to be here. I'm ready for to ready for a shitload more episodes, and uh, you know. <clears throat> And uh, I'm excited for the future of the pod. Oh yeah, well, I like I I got I got big faith in this and us. Even more so us than this, you know what I'm saying? Because this is just a part of the journey. Because like us can fucking you know is uh, versatile. It could. We, it doesn't have to be great doing this, you know what I'm saying? You know, what, whatever's next, if this has the longevity to persevere, 
or whatever it takes, uh, you know, whatever, like, the next form is, you know what I'm saying? Because before the podcast, I was on some, I was on some, uh. Vlog. Yeah, some vlog shit. And, bro, Sean, like, you were there for that, you know what I'm saying? You, you've, you've supported my endeavors from the beginning. The origins of big, man. That's like, when I had a fucking idea or something, like, you were fucking with it, dog. And that's, that was, those were your wild out days, too. Yeah. So it it was fucking it was highly entertaining for me because you would just be fucking like rolling balls <laughs> yeah. and be like, yeah, come over, yeah, put the camera, and then and then like, bro, like we fucking made turkey casserole from scratch on Thanksgiving. Wait, can we talk about what happened to that turkey casserole? Yes, let's talk about it. So I accidentally left it somehow. Oh, I dropped it out of the fridge when I was really fucked up. And it spilled, and then I just wiped it up with the towel and, like, a dumbass put it in my hamper. And then, like, later that night, put more clothes on top of it. And then maybe, like, two weeks later, I need to do my laundry. And I had it, like, stuffed in the corner, closet doors closed, so I couldn't smell nothing, right? I take out, like, just the top layer of clothes, and it smelled like a dead fucking animal. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. So that's what happened to that turkey casserole. But it was a fun night. I read an entire... Like chapter of yo, a book. he was fucking rolling balls, <laughs> just reading excerpts from Neil deGrasse Tyson's book, Letters to an Astrophysicist. And then we fucking we had a mosh pit in the kitchen. All uh, night, like yeah, it was a uh, good times, <clears throat> good times. And and at some point, like the, you know, just it just turned into like yo, like it's just gonna be a fucking sit down. Uh, format it was like yo fucking podcast, you know. Long story short, well, I think the idea, at least the idea that I came to you with a long time ago, was uh, for a podcast. Yeah, and, and then you kind of stemmed off to do vlogs, and then you realized, oh no, let's let's do this. Yeah, you realized it. It was like, and that's something I talked about with Hiram too, like going back a long time. Cause he even was on like one of those fucking apps where you can just go on the app and like talk. I remember, if, you know what I'm saying? Like it, like it's like it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen quickly. You know what I'm saying? Just to even be like, yo, like, no, oh, it happened a lot. It took a lot of years of, but those those were necessary to also like. It took us a lot of years to actually act on what we wanted to do. We prepared for a good. I would say what four to six months, but mainly not, you. But, but not even to act on, but to like uh, become like get to a point where we was on the vibe, where it's like yo, know, like I'm, uh, like intimately comfortable with this person. Like, yeah, fuck with each other. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, just, gonna keep going with that just, thing. just like so many good times. I also got a fucking video on on my phone of um of us at a uh, tavern singing um that Natasha Bedingfield song. I need to see that. That's when you had the fucking ponytail. Good old days. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I got kind of long winded. I'm glad I remember though, because some of this stuff needs to be said to mark the occasion. Um, you guys are the fucking best. Hiram's the fucking best. It's fucking unfortunate the uh, way that Miami became literally the most expensive place to live in the United States, and Hiram had to make the best choice for his family. Thanks, but- Joe Byron. Hey yo. But um, Bing bong. That was good. No, we're, we're getting fucking Hiram set up though to do some webcam shit. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> as soon as I said that, it sounded dirty. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. But, yeah, we're going to see, like, exactly what form that's going to take. On- honestly, I'm going I'm to probably, like, uh, compartmentalize my, like, fucking deep dive, like, uh, nerdcore reviews to, like, Hiram. Instead of like really like bombarding you with that, Carlos. Like you remember fucking uh, nineteen sixty four when uh, Thanos and this comic panel on page sixty seven. 
Yeah, I don't And that that transcribed into the movie when uh you go back and you watch it in reverse and you see the person and if you caught that reference then Yeah, no. I just something you know, there's certain things I do know, but when I I'm not that good at that. Yeah, like 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 I was kinda of thinking I'm like, okay, like I don't wanna fucking die, you know, become like it would like super redundant. It's just like, but um. So I was like, okay, like what, like how is this gonna be different from? I'm already doing like a, like live episodes, like film live on the spot in person. So I'm like, okay, like you know, do the fucking deep dive shit with Hiram and just fucking uh set that aside. So like the people that are interested in that can, yeah, yeah I'm gonna fucking. Play with it, make it make sense. I want to fucking make a Patreon and get some going that way. Uh, I need to get back on the merch shit. I have no fucking shirts left. And uh, everybody that's that's been a part of the journey up to this point, I uh, fucking appreciate it. Um, but there's some people that, you know, that have already kind of gone their own way. While well, we fucking stay the path, and you know, let's fucking see what happens the next one hundred episodes, and who's still with us, and what new people we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. wiener butts. <laughs> Iconic sound. Prim 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 to Skyrim. I was able to get real coherent at the end because, like, the fog had lifted off my mind a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you're you're fucking gone, dude. Who me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also tired. 